Today, I'm gonna to show you an auto leveling hack for your RV that could save you hundreds of dollars, weeks of time, and make you feel like Halle Berry. What more could you want? My name's Emily Kistler, and I am a mobile certified RV repair tech based here in Las Vegas. And this is RV Repair Woman. Stop me if you've heard this story before or if it's happened to you. I just recently had a customer who had brought her rig into a traditional shop where they held it for weeks and then gave it back to her and hadn't actually solved almost any of the problems that she had brought it in for. The biggest thing that she wanted solved was her auto leveler. You see, when she hit auto level, the rig would make a ton of noise. It would only bring down like two of legs. I think it was one in the front and one in the back and they wouldn't even make it all the way to the ground. And then the system would error out, say it was done when it obviously wasn't level. This shop had held her rig for weeks and then gave it back to her and told her that she probably just needed more transmission fluid. Ah! For the record, it took me all of two minutes to find the pump for her hydraulic system and her liquid levels were totally fine. What she actually needed done was to have the zero point on her auto leveler reset. A process that even if you don't know what you're doing takes under 10 minutes to do involves no special tools, no special know-how other than what we're gonna go over in this video. And it truly blows my mind that this shop didn't do this really easy fix for this woman. And so today I'm going to show you how to do this really easy fix for yourself. But first, what is your auto level zero point and how do you know if that is your problem? Well, the auto leveling T is that your auto leveler isn't actually leveling your rig. I know, gasp. It is setting your rig to an arbitrary point that it has been told is level. That's your zero point. So for example, you could set up your rig to some crazy angle so you can slip and slide out of your bedroom and into your kitchen in the morning, call that your zero point, and every time you hit auto level, your rig's gonna go to slip and slide. For the record, I don't recommend this, it is terrible for your appliances, but you can do it. But sometimes computer systems go wrong and just need a reset. Sometimes techs get in there and hit the wrong button and screw things up. And sometimes these things come from the factory with that zero point set at a really bad spot. So how can you tell if your auto leveler is the problem or if it's more of a mechanical, hydraulic, electrical problem? Well, if you can move the legs manually, then there's nothing wrong mechanically. It has to be the auto leveler. Or, this fix I'm about to show you is literally free and takes less than 10 minutes. Why don't you try that first? And if it doesn't solve it, then go and hunt down a problem that's actually gonna cost more time and money. Just a suggestion. So here's the step-by-step -step of how to reset that zero point in your auto leveler. I'm gonna show you how to do this on a Lippert leveling system, but the bones of what we're doing is going to be basically the same across most systems. You are just going to have to know what the Konami code is to get into the back door of your system. If you would like, I will have in the description a link to a cheat sheet where I will have the steps that I walk through today for the Lippert system written out so they're there for your reading pleasure. Go check out that link in the description. But for my Lippert lovers, you're going to go to this panel and you're going to turn it on. Then you're going to hit the up button once and the screen should say manual mode. We're doing great. You're then going to hit enter to enter manual mode. This is really going to be the tell all of whether the zero point is the problem or if it's mechanical. You're now going to use the left, right, front, and rear buttons to get your rig to what you feel level is. When you hold the left button, the left legs are going to come down. The right button, the right legs are going to come down front, back, you just hold it to have the legs come down. Pro tip, as you do this, the screen is going to show you a number of degrees that it feels you are out of level. I personally don't trust that, and I prefer to put my own level in the middle of the rig, probably in the kitchen, and go off of that. But I do know that that does involve having a second person there, and you know, sometimes you want to be a strong, independent woman, and you don't want to have help. <laughs> uh, and in that case, use the screen. I just personally don't trust that thing all the time. 
it's up to you. So if you can get the legs to come down manually, get yourself level, then it's probably the zero point that's your problem. And we're now going to reset it. So the next thing you're going to do is hit the on off button again to turn the system off. This is where the Konami code comes in. This is where we get to feel like Halle Berry. I'm specifically going for Halle Berry from Swordfish here. If anyone remembers that weird movie with John Travolta and Hugh Jackman. So live in your best Halle Berry life. You are going to press and release the front button five times and then press and release the rear button five times. That's it. You have hacked into the mainframe. The screen is going to say something along the lines of zero point stability check. You're going to hold your breath for just a minute as it does its little check. And then the screen is going to say zero point set successfully. I think if I remember correctly, it even has an exclamation point. It is a very exciting moment. And that's it. It will take you less time to do this than this video is long. You can check to see if this worked by hitting retract all to bring your legs up and then hitting auto level and the legs should come down. Your rig should be level. You should be able to pour yourself that mimosa that you have earned because you solved this problem all by yourself. Didn't have to bring it into a shop. Didn't have to have it sit there for weeks. Didn't have to pay a dime. If you would like to learn a couple other quick and easy tips and tricks that's gonna save you time and money on your rig, I actually have a free ultimate guide to RV maintenance come soon. There is a link in the description so you can get on the wait list for that and have it hit your inbox as soon as that drops. I have a whole section in there that specifically talks about landing gear and how to keep your hydraulic, your electrical system up and running. But I also talk about everything from ACs to fridges to your roof. Here at RV Repair Woman, I'm really all about people feeling as confident as they can. I know that learning curve when you first get an RV is really steep and a lot of people can fall out of love with this really cool community and really cool way of living life. And I don't want that steep learning curve to be what makes people fall out of love with their rig. So that is my gift to you. Please go check that out if you think you would find it helpful. And if you just want to learn some more tips and tricks that most RV techs aren't going to tell you, go ahead and hit subscribe because I'm putting out a new video every week. This has been RV Repair Woman. You got this.